okay you guys in this video i'm gonna show you how to make this pattern the pattern is from here up to here this is the the longest that i need it so i can make my ring all right and this one is size 11 this one over here is size 10 so i'm gonna try to show you guys how to make this pattern i'm gonna put it right here so i didn't get messed up let's see It's getting harder for me to thread the needle. All right, so right here, the way I have these ones over here is peyote stitch, right here, peyote stitch. The other video I show how to make from here up to here is one time and from here up to here is two times, okay? So I make this pattern twice right here. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this one again. So I need to get the needle out, I mean the thread out, so I can show you guys from the beginning. I'm going to try to do that. Let me see if I can do that. I'm doing this. I'm going to try to take all this one, like, undo that. So I can show you guys how to make it again. The reason is that I want to show you guys how to undo your work in case you get confused you know this is how you undo it your work the way I'm doing it it's like that this is one color over here so the reason I'm undoing this pattern is because right here like you guys see I have so many colors all together and it takes me like oh long time before I can actually get the right colors that I need and I do not want to waste that much time so for the reason, I'm going to undo the pattern that I make already, like twice. So there is the other blue right here. Now I'm going to put the other one over here. I'm going to look for different colors. I need, a, let's say, yellow. I need yellow and I need um, blue. So I have a blue, I'm going to look for a yellow. And then in case I cannot find yellow, um, size 11, because I have no idea if I have it handy. You know, it's like 1.30 in the morning and I do not want to bother my little girls. You know, if they're sleeping and I go upstairs, wake up and start running around and, you know, making all kind of noises and stuff. And obviously people, you know, they want to sleep and they don't want to be bothered. So, for that reason, I'm going to undoing this pattern. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. So, this one is undo. Now I need to just uh, undo this um, blue one. Let me see. It's like that. And this one too. Okay. It's getting confused. The problem is when you doing the work, if you pass the needle through your thread, the thread is going to get stuck like it happens right here 
I believe I can uh, pull the needle through the thread and that's what happened. So now I'm going to get in trouble right here before I can finish doing this. So just like that. Now I'm going to pull the thread by doing this. Put all the CBs out, turn around, and then pull in this side. That way all the CBs are down here. So I'm going to show you the same amount I show it in the other video that I make a... Um, first so we're going to need this much if you're going to make the pattern just twice all right but you're going to need this many if you're going to make a ring not just the pattern if you know what I mean so there we have the C beads already to work with so I'm going to pass the thread a couple of times through the CB you guys don't forget to leave about four inches of thread so you guys can secure the work when you done with it all right pass it again just enough to get it stuck just like that kind of stuck that's all we need so now we're going to get eight if you guys like it like uh, a bit wire you can go ahead and put it I don't know 10 12 you know 14 whichever wide you guys like it I'm going to use eight all right so we begin with eight like that we pick up one of the dark blue escape one pass the needle through the next one slice so One more. Like that. Escape the next one. Pass the needle. Escape one and pass the needle through the next one. That's what I mean. Alright. It's always very difficult for me to make the first turn. Actually, first and second sometimes. Even after six turns and I'm still having trouble. Hopefully this time I don't. Let me see if I get it right. You pull it and it's going to look like that. Turn around. Remember, these are two turns. So, now, turn it this way, like that. And then we're going to pick up the first of the light blue. Escape this one, pass the needle through the next one, like so like that okay make sure your tail didn't get into the way Ok, 
Okay. One more of light blue. Like this. It looks like that. Now turn around like this and then continue with the light blue. That's one turn, this one is the second. This one is a third turn. It's a turn number three. Like that. Pull it to get it tight. Like that. Let you guys see right here. I make a mistake, obviously. So I have to return. It's like that. Obviously, I pass the needle through the thread. Like I said before, that's a huge mistake because if you need to undo your work, it's going to be so difficult like it happened right here so I need to undo this like that and then thread the needle it's like I'm turning the needle until I get the thread through the hole or through, through the eye of the needle. It's that difficult, so I'm sorry for that. I get a little bit, so hopefully it can get through it. Let me see. Yep. So. I was right here, so I pick up one, escape this, pass the needle through the next one, which is this one over here. One more, escape one, pass the needle through the next one. So, right here. I'm going to need one more turn of light blue, like that. Because remember, we need to have two, two in each, uh, in each of these uh, side or part of the pattern. Just right here. To right here, to right here, to right here, just like that. So try not to pass the needle through the thread because the thread is going to get old. Like this one right here, that's really bad. So be careful with that. So 
so now it's going to be dark blue It's like that. I hope I can have yellow and red because I want to make um, different patterns. They are really, really gorgeous. And then I want to show you guys how to make a ring with really 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 cool I changed this pattern a little bit just a couple of CBs you know put different colors on it and I think it's going to look pretty cool so I hope you guys like it as much as they do because it's going to be different obviously different than this one and if I have to put a bit more of sea beads I mean you know I'm going to need to kind of practice before I show you guys how to make it because I need to make sure I can explain to you how is um, the pattern if I didn't show you properly so you guys don't want to learn how to make it, you know? I do not want you guys to get confused. So that is the reason. I'm going to try to practice first. This one is very simple, so I didn't practice at all. But this one, we need to. I mean, not this one, but the other patterns. Turn around. See, you have two, 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 two. Like that. So it looks like that. The pattern is from here up to here. All right. I'm going to show you one more time this light blue. It's the same thing over and over again. Fourteen strips. I call it strips like this, lines like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. But depends, you know, because my finger is that thick. If your finger is thicker, obviously you're going to need more C beads. So, like this, turn around, continue like this, This turn again going to be the same color, light blue, like this, and like this. Okay. So 
we need one more turn like this This one is the last one of the light blue. Looks like that. Right here we make the pattern. From here to here is one time. And then I'm showing you this match. We're gonna continue with the dark blue. So you guys see how it's supposed to be end up if your ring is going to be the same size as mine, okay? That is the reason I'm showing you this much only. Because after that you guys know how you're supposed to be end up so you can close your work. And you're going to close properly if you do it the way I'm doing it, okay? Now I have to hurry up, try to make this one as fast as I can because my memory is about to be gone. So, like this, like this. Looks like it's going to be one more turn after this one. Turn around. One more turn right here. Like that. One more. This is the last one. And there you have it. So you have to have this many right here. So when you close it, it's going to be this one. It's going to be closed right here. Let me show you what the other pattern. Hopefully I have enough time to show you how to close it. All right. So we're going to pass the needle through this one first. Like this. like that and then through this one and the other side we continue with this pattern we're going to close it by passing the needle through the ones they are sticking up okay it's like that Don't forget, you guys have to leave like about four inches right here. It's just like uh, very, very little bit because I cut it wrong. But you guys do not make that mistake, okay? Because you guys have to have enough thread right there to secure your work very, very well, all right? And then pass it through this one. And there you have it. Right here, I'm going to make a knot a little bit just to show you guys how the ring is going to look like. Obviously, with different C beads, these ones are size 10. Remember that? And obviously, they are not even the same size. They have so many sizes. So, that is a problem. We're going to kind of make an act right here I was trying to make a knot when the battery died on me so I have to change it and see how can I make this knot it is really really sure I'm gonna pass the needle maybe that way it works let's see like that yep and that's it 
Now from here, you pass the needle through a couple of CBs, and this is all you need to do. Just like that. Try to make a knot so I can show you guys better. So, just put it on. It's going to look like that. Sorry for my hands, they are very old and very ugly. But it's going to look something like that. Of course, if you make a, the ring with size 11, it's going to be a bit. Um, right here is uh, 6 and right here is 8. So 8 right there and 6 right here. Now you guys see, it looks like that. But you end up your ring exactly the way I show you right here. Alright? It's like you close it this part over here. It's the same thing. You just close it and then you're going to get the same results that you get on this ring. Alright? So. Yeah, this one is getting under. Oh my lord. two there we go better this time better be stained I wasn't gonna be very very upset so so right there you just pass the needle for a couple of sea beads make knots and then pass the needle for a couple more men make knots pass the needle for a couple of more and then you can cut it right there all right that's all you need to do if you guys want to know how to make knots and how to secure the work you can go ahead and watch some other videos that i made before because this time i have no time to do that all right well that's all you do you need to pass the needle through a couple of cbs may knots, and cut it all right well thank you very much for watching my videos and would you please not forget to comment rate and subscribe to my channels i really appreciate that so much